Hello everyone, welcome to another episode, <clears throat> another video on the LMR Bagpipes YouTube channel. Today we're actually going to be talk about, talking about what makes this song sound familiar. And what I'm talking about is Wall of the Cat by the Wicked Tinkers. As you all might not know, the Wicked Tinkers are a Celtic band here in the U.S. Uh, they play all Celtic music and... One thing that has appealed to me that wanted me that made me want to want to start learning the bagpipes was listening to their music and getting involved in the bagpipes. And part of that was hearing the Scottish small pipes. And as y'all probably know, that's the type of bagpipe that I currently play. I did play the Great Highland bagpipes, uh, but now I play the Scottish small pipes. Not the bellows blown ones, though. I play the mouth blown ones. Now, mouth blown ones, they're great as practice instruments. To help you get familiar with the bagpipes, but they're also great as an actual instrument themselves, and that's what I use them for. Now, I've played Wallop the Cat both ways, but we're going to talk about what makes it different as far as what drone combinations do they use. So, for starters, most sets of Scottish small pipes are going to have a bass drone, a baritone drone, and a tenor drone. Okay, sorry about that, YouTube, but most Scottish small pipes are going to have a bass drone, a baritone, and a tenor drone. That is going to be the main drone combination that your small pipes are going to have. These ones used to have a baritone drone, but when I got, the from, got them from Gary, Gary Guth, the guy that, that supplies the small pipes and all that stuff, he took the baritone drone out and replaced it with a tenor drone. So now we have two bass and two tenor, oh, one bass and two tenor. But, what makes Walt the Cat sound familiar? Well, it's not just the melody, but it's also the drone combinations, because everyone thinks of the Scottish small pipes as either having two drones on, or three drones on. Now, I've played Walt the Cat both ways now. Bass and tenor, and the two tenors, but one being converted to baritone, and we're going to actually do that. Oh, first... I forgot something. I forgot to put my bass drone read in. Hold on. And we're going to do that. I forgot about the bass read. All right. Because you got to make sure the small pipes, you can do one drone on the small pipes, but especially if you have two or more drones. Here's the first, here's the first comparison, bass and tenor. Honestly, with Scottish small pipes, it's always gonna, you're always going to have at least the tenor and the bass on, if not the bass drone going. All right, so now we're going to go to the baritone and the bass. Well, the baritone and the tenor. I'm going to go ahead and take my bass reed. We're going to swap the reeds. We're going to put one in the stock right here, and we're going to put the middle tenor drone in the bass stock, and then we're going to put the bass reed. And the bear and the, the tenor stock, converting it into a baritone. And here is the familiar sound most people will think of when they think of the Scottish small pipes.
And that is the middle tenor drone as a baritone drone and the tenor drone, the outside tenor, sounding on Wall of the Cat. There we go. Two different drone comparisons. Regular bass drone versus outside tenor and the middle tenor drone versus outside tenor, which the middle tenor drone is converted into a baritone drone. All right. Thanks for watching and more to come later.